switch flight mode. There are three flight modes available, including video, normal, and sport mode. You can set the flight mode after takeoff. Tap the quick setting panel or go to settings to switch the flight mode. You can also use button customization to switch the flight mode. Switch the flight mode quickly via the customized button. Video mode. Flight speed, 6 meters per second. Ascent speed, 2 meters per second. Descent speed, 2 meters per second. Normal mode. Flight speed, 10 meters per second. Ascent speed, 4 meters per second. Descent speed, 3 meters per second. Sport mode. Flight speed, 16 meters per second. Ascent speed, 5 meters per second. Descent speed, 4 meters per second. In order to activate sport mode, the altitude of the drone must be over 8 meters. And the battery level is more than 30%. In sport mode the drone flies very fast and has higher maneuverability. Battery consumption will also increase, potentially reducing the battery life. Please pay attention to flight safety. Upload flight logs. If your drone experiences an accident during flight, and it requires technical support for in-depth analysis, you can upload flight logs. Tap me in the app home screen. Tap more. In the flight record playback list, locate the flight log associated with the incident and swipe left to reveal the upload button. Tap the button to upload. Or tap choose. This way you can upload multiple flight logs simultaneously. Smart transfer. Smart Transfer allows you to quickly transfer high-definition media from the drone to your mobile device via Wi-Fi. Unfold the drone's arms. Press and hold the power button to power on the drone. Ensure Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are enabled on your mobile device before connecting. Tap the Smart Transfer button located at the top left corner of the app's home screen. Your mobile device will automatically search for available connections. When your drone appears in the search result list, tap to connect. For first-time use, you will need to press the power button once on the drone to confirm the connection. Once connected successfully, you can enter the album for high-speed media downloads. To exit this mode, simply tap the Smart Transfer button within the album, Take off with one hand. If your takeoff environment is not suitable for placing the drone on the ground, you can use the one hand takeoff feature. Tap settings at the upper right corner of the flight interface. In safety or general settings, enable takeoff with one hand. Take left hand throttle as an example. First, press and hold the C1 button. Then pull the throttle stick downward and hold it for 2 seconds. This unlocks the motors. Release the stick first, and the drone will take off. Release the C1 button first, the motors will stop spinning and remain locked. Always use this feature with caution. Use this feature in an open, unobstructed area. Away from crowds and obstacles. Control Stick Mode. Tap Settings at the upper right corner of the flight interface. Tap Control and locate Control Stick Mode. Tap to enter the setting. Mode 1 is Right Hand Throttle. Mode 2 is Left Hand Throttle. Or you can custom the Control Stick Mode according to your personal operating preferences. Tap Edit. Press and hold the Control Stick button at the top to drag it into the corresponding box. Once editing is complete, tap Save. Button Customization. There are two customizable buttons on the top of the remote controller. They are labeled C1 and C2. You can customize the functions of these two buttons. Tap Settings at the upper right corner of the flight interface. Tap Control and Locate Button Customization. You can assign functions to the buttons or button combinations. Control Stick Sensitivity. Tap Settings at the upper right corner of the flight interface. 
tap control and locate control stick sensitivity. You can adjust stick sensitivity of the remote controller. You can set it according to your personal preferences. Find my drone. If you encounter a flight accident that causes the drone to lose connection, or if an emergency situation requires an emergency landing, you can use the Find My Drone feature to locate your drone. Enter the app home screen. Tap me to access Find My Drone. Alternatively, you can open the map in the flight interface to quickly access Find My Drone. Mobile Device Location Home Point The last known location of the drone when the remote controller signal was lost. Approach the last known location of the drone and try to look for it in the vicinity based on the positioning information in the app. After arriving nearby, you can simultaneously start drone beeping. It will assist the search through the sound of the drone beeping. Custom Home Point After taking off in GNSS mode, the drone will record the home point. You can modify the home point according to your personal needs. After takeoff, tap the quick setting panel at the top left corner of the flight interface. Scroll down to the bottom. If you select drone, the home point will be updated to the current location of the drone. If you select remote controller, the home point will be updated to the current location of the remote controller. If you select custom, you can custom the home point in a specific area on the map. Tap confirm to complete your choice. The home point will be updated to the custom location. Please note that after changing the home point, if a RTH task is triggered, the drone will execute the return based on the latest home point. Please choose carefully and pay attention to the most recent home point. If you need to cancel the custom home point, you can tap takeoff point under the custom options. The home point will be reset to the takeoff point. Cruise control. The cruise control feature enables the drone to lock the current control stick input of the remote controller. Allows the drone to automatically fly at the speed corresponding to the current control stick input. It makes long distance flights become more effortless and efficient. The cruise control feature also supports control stick input incorporation, pitch stick and roll stick. In this way, you can achieve more creative flight paths. To enable, you need to set the cruise control button. Go to APA settings, control remote controller settings. In button customization page, you can set either customizable button as the cruise control button. By default, press twice the C2 button on the remote controller to enable, disable, or update cruise control. During the flight, Move either the pitch or roll stick. Press twice the cruise control button on the remote controller. The drone will activate cruise control. The drone will fly at the current speed corresponding to the control stick input. During cruise control, if the control sticks are toggled again, the drone will incorporate the new stick input into its flight. If the custom cruise control button is pressed again at this time, Cruise control will be updated. The drone will continue flying at the new cruise speed based on the incorporated control stick inputs. Press the cruise control button without a control stick input, or press the RTH button on the remote controller, or tap X on the left of the flight interface. You can exit cruise control. After exiting cruise control, the drone will hover in place.